what you have to say for yourself. Need to get better at getting ready. <laughs> Boy, that is unfortunate. Don't you hate when you record an entire Sunday episode and then your microphone was muted the whole time and you didn't actually record anything? <sighs> okay. Well, hello there, friends and RC family. My name is Alec from High Noon Hobby, and if you're new to this channel, I appreciate you checking it out. I hope that you'll stick around, watch this content, see if it's worth your while, consider subscribing so that then I can say to you, if you aren't new here, welcome back to yet another relaxed Sunday upload. <sighs> this time, we're taking a look at my course number two run, as I promised on Friday's episode of the High Noon Hobby YouTube channel. This time covering the North versus South Utah RC Crawlin Championship Finals. We're going to be looking at my course number two run, which went a whole heck of a lot better than my course number one run. So I hope that you guys will enjoy watching me um, triumph a little bit. Probably not as much as you enjoyed watching me suffer. It's kind of funny how that thing works. But uh, but yeah, let's let's watch me let's let's enjoy this triumph together as kind of a a group triumph, right? Let's, this is you and I succeeding together. But uh, I'm gonna try to give a little rundown of this run, and uh, I hope that you guys enjoy it. Before that, though, I do want to want to throw something out there and just see what you guys think. I've been thinking about leveling the content up, but getting the quantity maybe bringing the quantity down so i do two videos a week right now friday and sunday it's stretching me pretty thin i spend anywhere between you know 12 8 let's say 8 you know i won't exaggerate between 8 and like 20 hours on these two videos each week and that's on top of a full-time job and uh, trying to get out there and actually record the content the 8 to 20 hours is just me editing here at this desk and talking to this camera like it's a person um <laughs> but if you guys want to see uh i'm i'm trying to decide whether or not going down to one video a week is going to impact how many people watch my video so let me know in the comment section down below if you would rather see all of that time, that 8 to 20 hours or whatever I end up spending editing videos, if you would rather see me spend each week on one video and really try to just hone in on that video, or if you would rather continue to see kind of a more dispersed uh, type of content where I am doing two videos a week, um, if you haven't noticed with the two videos a week, I've kind of just come up with a formula for it that works well. And so that's kind of what you have to do when you're creating this much content every week as a solo content creator and you don't have anyone helping you. You kind of have to fall into a rhythm. So I don't know if you guys enjoy the rhythm or not. I would like to inquire and hear what you have to say. So of all the content that we've been doing over the past few months, let me know what you enjoyed the most, what you enjoyed the least, what you would rather see more of or less of. Um, if you have any ideas for content or anything like that, anything that you particularly want to see, let me know in the comment section down below. I just want to hear all of your guys' thoughts. So have at it down below and I would love to hear what you guys think. But we're going to watch my run on course number two now which went much better than course number one or i guess maybe that was course number two and this is course number one i don't know this is the other one we haven't seen this one yet so you're gonna watch this one now i hope that you enjoy it and uh we'll see you at the end of the video okay yeah you're gonna hear me the whole time so i'm not leaving you i'm still right here it's okay it's okay i'm right by your side okie dokie here we are for the start of course number one or two i'm not really sure but uh, this is the course that we haven't seen yet so gate number one a little bit of a descent there now if you guys aren't familiar this is the scumbag mobile uh, if you want to hear some of the specs on this rig you can check out friday's video i did a little kind of rundown at the beginning of that video where i went over the specs um, but generally speaking sex 10 2 with rock pirates bits I'm going to be handling this course with prowess 
Uh, we're headed into gate number three here. This is a bit of a an ascent that you just need to commit to. Um, this this course wasn't quite as difficult, in my opinion, as the previous course that we were watching. It's also not much to look at in terms of in between gates. There's just a lot of flat spots, and there's not as much stuff to kind of catch you up and catch you off guard like the other course had. Now that partly just relates to the dynamic of this course. This is on a flatter, more open rock surface area, and so there just isn't as much stuff to run into, which is a benefit to the drivers, but not maybe so much to the viewers. So I apologize for that, but we're gonna try to make the best of it. Gate number four here is, as I'm talking about how, you know, this course isn't as challenging, this one is pretty challenging. As you can see, you end up getting sucked in on that driver rear tire, and you really need to stay either super, super high to the right or super low to the left and try to just avoid that hole. Unfortunately, I found myself right in the middle of it, and I ended up unsettling and then tipping over, peeling off the wall, and grabbing a gate. So my first points are an entire gate there, so 10, an unfortunate kind of beginning to this course, but we're going to make up for it right here with this bonus. This is a pretty steep climb. A lot of trucks I noticed had problems with that, but my truck is pretty planted on steep inclines, so I didn't have too much of a problem just following that crack up the incline. Got that bonus, got through gate number, uh, let's see, was that five alone? Yeah, that was five. I got through that one, no problem. Six, I saw a lot of people screw up on gate number six. They they either didn't maintain their speed through it and they ended up getting bounced, toppled over, end over end, or when they got down to the bottom, they didn't make that slight left turn out like I did and they got kind of uh, shoved over to the left-hand side, which toppled people over from left to right. Um, so I tried to just watch my wheel speed. I know I only have a brushed motor in this thing, but I really just tried to match gravity as best as I could, keep my nose and my tail as level with that, uh, that descent as possible and then work my way uh, over to the left as I went down it. Now here, this side hill, um, we're playing the side hill shimmy game here. This is where obviously you try to settle the uh, rear or, or rather uh, get the rear to break loose so that you can kind of become more vertical in a more vertical climbing position on your side hills. I've called that, uh, I don't know, the side hill shuffle, the side hill shimmy before on this channel. And that's basically trying to keep your truck as vertical as possible as you're going Going across the side hill that wasn't as necessary on that that one that we just watched until the very end gate number eight there you just had to avoid that big pothole uh, gate number nine really no problem if you just kept a little bit of momentum through that climb and then 10 here you can see there's a big bowl on that driver side so we just have to stay super far passenger hope that our tires hook up here at the front and they do and they just drag the rear right through so we finished with just around a 340, a little under a 340. I didn't reset the time before I watched this, so I know it's going to be a little bit off. But just around a 340 and a zero. So I thought uh, that was pretty good. I was pretty happy with that score. And overall, I think that while this course wasn't as difficult as the previous one that we've been watching, it still was quite challenging, and I was happy to come away with a zero. Now, you might have noticed that I didn't hit the second bonus gate. I told you guys at the start of this whole series that there were going to be two bonus gates per course, and I only hit one. And that is because I didn't have a winch on this truck, and the other bonus gate was just, uh, it was debauchery. It was really rough, and I didn't want to risk getting those points from that bonus gate, knowing that I couldn't winch through it in a, a tight situation. I decided to just skip it, and, uh, you know, you miss potentially getting a negative 10, but the downsides are unlimited. You could end up with 20, 30, 40 points trying to get a bonus gate. I've seen it happen before and I didn't want it to happen to me. But overall, a zero at that time I think was pretty decent. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about the run. But more importantly, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about what type of content I should be creating if you want to see. Keep seeing if you're rigidly attached to having your Sunday upload or if you're okay with maybe just a Friday upload and you would be all right if that video was a little bit longer or had a little bit more information that I was able to research with that extra time. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I want to hear. I do really care about that. Um, and I do really care that you made it to the end of the video. So thank you for that as well. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a like. But uh, other than that, we will see you next week. 
it's been a good one it's been a good weekend i hope it's been good for you i hope you've gotten some good crawling in and uh yeah buy a high noon patch or something i don't know you're working right on monday you're going back to work you don't make this money get a patch while you're at it support the channel <laughs> all right we'll see you guys next time